So let's see what the terminal manager can do. First of all, we place a terminal and you see the manager will open. Let's create a new terminal. Say how many terminals are included and press OK. And you see he will give you the terminal number one because it's free. Now let's copy it and again use a plus button and the software will ask you which one to use. Okay, now a way to renumber them is right click on it and say change number. Let's change it. For example, 11, 12 and 13. And now let's see how to do it, some faster. Open the manager again. Yeah, then open the browser. Renumber the first terminal to one. And then select the terminals which has to be numbered and click on numbering. That's it. Now another function is placing symbols out of the manager. Let's see how this works. Take a symbol, right click and place symbol in plan. That's it. Okay. Let's see how the contact manager works. First of all, let's place a coil. You see the manager will open. We add a new one and say OK. The next step is to place a contact and therefore we go to page two. place a power contact and you see the software will give us a Q1 and it's connected. You see there is a cross reference, we can use it and the comp is also built. Let's place another contact to see what happened and the software will ask us again is it a Q1. Let's say OK and you see the comp is actualized and the symbol is connected. So let's see what has happened in the manager. And there you see the contacts are there. And that's how it works. Let's see what we can do with the PLC manager and the PLC configurator. Let's start the configurator. Here we can add uh, a reference name. Next step is create power supply and rename it for example to 24 volt and 24 volt minus. Then go to the channel groups and add a new one. For example a digital input, eight numbers of channel and then let's see how it looks in the preview. That looks OK. And play the symbol. The PLC manager will open and we can use the reference name A1 and add it. So that's the first step to create a PLC. We have now our master and now let's create a PLC slave. The digital input and the channel type is also an input. Let's say it's five channels. Let's see how it look in the preview. Press OK and you see we have five input slaves and the manager will connect them automatically. Now we have built the cross references and all the texts are connected to. So let's see what that means. Go in the manager and open the browser 
and here we can now give comments and channel texts and so on so let's change the comment of the first channel of the input card add a text and say ok and you see the text is also given in the slave so that's it for today thank you for listening and we will see us at the next video